Unrelenting is the life of a New York sports fan like myself. You guys saw it. Week one, Aaron Rodgers out for the year, torn Achilles, four plays into his two-year $75 million deal with the Jets, and it feels like we're back to square one in terms of our QB situation. Zach Wilson forced into action, first quarter, and I mean, he made it work. The Jets pulled out the victory against the Bills, 22-16. Absolutely riveting matchup, ended in overtime on a crazy punt return touchdown. But hey, I mean, what are the options for the Jets here for the rest of this season? Well, I mean, there's multiple. You can go out, you can trade for a guy, you can get some QB2 from another team. You could look at Jameis Winston, for example. That, that would be my best pick if you were to trade for a QB2 like that. But honestly, I'm liking just sticking with Zach Wilson. I would forget about all the free agents. You know, they're unemployed for a reason. I don't want no Carson Wentz on my team. Zach Wilson, week one, he threw for 140 yards, threw one interception and one touchdown pass. And you know, his longest pass, only 24 yards downfield. And that's definitely the offensive policy the Jets should stick with going forward. Look for screen passes, look for those short floater passes out to Garrett Wilson, just put it in his vicinity, you know the kid's gonna catch the ball. Stick to the run game as well. Our running backs, low key insane. We've got Brees Hall, we've got Dalvin Cook, we've got Michael Carter. Those are solid, solid backs. And you know, Zach Wilson, he can run a little bit himself. He can scramble, so use that to your advantage to break down defenses. Now, what do we need to see? What do we need to expect from Wilson to keep these Jets competitive. I would say 175, 150 yards on the low end per week. That could work for these Jets, you know. Our defense is so, so good. Top five, arguably top three in the league behind the 49ers and the Cowboys, in my opinion. And speaking of those Cowboys, week two, Jets go out to Dallas to face those Cowboys. That's gonna be a huge benchmark test to see if this team is legit. Now, you know, I was born in the year 2000. I feel like this is the best best Jets team I've seen, even without Aaron Rodgers. I'm really excited for this team. I was really excited coming into the year with Rodgers, but I mean, hey, I'm almost even more excited now to see what Wilson can accomplish here because we know that this is probably Wilson's last shot. You know, the kid was drafted second overall and he just has not performed at the desired level. With the injury of Aaron Rodgers, the Jets playoff percentage according to most sports analysts dropped about 50 percentage points. You know, some had him sitting at 60% chance to make the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers at the helm and now with Zach Wilson, it's down to like 10 or 5% in the opinion of most sports analysts. However, I am not most sports analysts. I would give the Jets a little bit higher chance than that. You know, most of the week two power rankings have the Jets sitting middle of the pack, like 13 to 16 range overall in the league. I think that's a little bit low. I think you're underestimating this team. I think you're underestimating the defensive capabilities and this revitalized offense. You can't bring in guys like Dalvin Cook and Alan Lazard and expect mediocre results. Quinn and Williams still looking like an all-star out there on this defense, one of the best pass rushers in the game. DJ Reed making his stops abundantly and you know, people like CJ Mosley on the leadership side of things, keeping everyone calm, cool, and collected. Jordan Whitehead headlining with three interceptions, which is an absolutely wild performance from him. I think against these Cowboys in week two, we're not going to see a Giants type blowout like we saw in week one. The Jets are a much better team than the Giants, much deeper roster in my opinion. And I think the Jets are going to give the Cowboys a run for their money. I think they're going to cover the spread. At the time of the recording of this video, the spread is about 9.5 points. And I'm, put, I'm putting some money on the Jets to cover that spread. Their defense definitely going to be able to keep up with the Cowboys. Hey, so let me know in the comments if you like these 
quick style of sports videos. Let me know if you agree with my analysis of Zach Wilson and what can we expect from him. Let me know what you think. Are the Jets going to tank? Are they still in contention? Is it all over for Jets fans? Are they going to the Super Bowl? Let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. Peace out.